Uniqlo is a brand we all know and love. We've been there and bought several products ourselves. Over the years, Uniqlo has just been growing its business at a fast pace and keeping up to trend despite having huge competitions in the clothing industry. But what exactly is behind all of Uniqlo's success and how did this all begin? Uniqlo, short for Unique Clothing Warehouse, was founded in Japan in the year 1984. Tadashi Yanai, the founder, after opening the first ever Uniqlo in Japan, went and traveled to Europe and the United States and encountered several large casual apparel stores. This inspired him greatly and saw a massive potential in Japan's casual wear market as well as expanding his business. Tadashi continued with his goal of evolving his family's business strategy from suiting to casual clothing, where you can buy clothing in large amounts at a low price. By 1998, Tadashi was successful in opening 300 Uniqlo stores in Japan alone. Just like any other business, Uniqlo has also experienced problems and challenges along the way, one of it being how the consumers perceive Uniqlo as a brand. Uniqlo was perceived to be a discount retailer selling cheap and low-quality apparel to the suburbs. This is a real challenge for any business because you build your business to have a brand identity and you want people to see your brand to have quality products. However, Uniqlo took matters quickly into their hands when they launched the Global Quality Declaration in 2004. This was Uniqlo's brand strategy to change how their consumers perceive their products. The Global Quality Declaration states that Uniqlo took a pledge to stop producing cheap and low-quality clothing. Since then, Uniqlo has succeeded in shifting their consumers' perception of their products. People started noticing Uniqlo's high-quality products as well. Tadashi Yanai's quote, Without a soul, a company is nothing. This reflects the 23 management principles that he created and taught each and every Uniqlo employee. The core values of these principles include putting customers first, giving back to the society, and being self-disruptive. Alongside these principles, Uniqlo's strategy to continuously innovate ideas and products has helped them stand out from other competitors. Today, Uniqlo is a wholly owned subsidiary of fast retailing company and it is known for providing high quality private label casual wear at low prices. As of the end of 2021, Uniqlo has expanded all over the world opening 2,351 stores in 25 countries all over Asia, Europe, and the United States. Uniqlo is undoubtedly the biggest apparel company in the world with 800 stores in Japan alone. For the recommendations, I would say that Uniqlo should keep up the good work and just always listen to customer feedback and stay up to date with the latest trends.